Quite a long one today. We we're going to Can 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 Can. It's like 40 miles, and the wind in the anchorage has changed, so it's blowing straight into the anchorage. But it's really not that heavy wind, so we're kind of rocking up and down a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to motor into the wind for about two hours, maybe, and then the wind's gonna change, and then we'll be sailing. We've got our route planned out here: 42 nautical miles. So many boats came in here yesterday. <laughs> Bouncing around. should die down, it has picked up a bit. Okay, so it looks like we're getting checked. Some sort. SA de missiles. Ah, okay, um, okay. So in and across. Okay. What uh, is? can. Can? Can? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> we got uh, pulled over by the military. <laughs> We're getting out fast. We hear some crazy missile out at the back. like. <laughs> All right, so we didn't take into account these military areas. We just literally cut across the bay while we were trying to. Now we're sailing at four to five knots. The wind is coming northeasterly, so we're close hauled. So we may need to make a bit more progress so we can sail that way. The wind is supposed to change to southeasterly, which would be absolutely perfect to push us all the way up to Cannes. This sailor is going right across the zone. So we should keep an eye on him. Although he does now look like he's going east. We just need to give it a wide berth, I think. And then <laughs> if there's a problem, there's come. another one over there as well. Um, I guess they'll call us, I don't know. Well, we're just enjoying the sail. Two sheets. Two sheets to the wind. We've just been motoring now to get around this uh, cap or cape or whatever headland. And then hopefully when we're going that way, we can start sailing again. You can see here, that's where we were sailing there. And then we've just motored up. And then we want to get onto that line. Whoop, a bit rocky. Around here is Saint Tropez. This is Saint Tropez. This is an incredibly expensive place. The marina is 50 euros for one night. Another half an hour motoring to get past this. And then we're sailing. Look at her, using a phone at the back. Seasickness is done. No more seasickness. I've been spending the last three days on a boat, rocking like crazy, and I'm done. <laughs> yeah. The islands that we came from look so far away now. You can just see them.
<sighs> Feels good to be sailing again. Yeah, definitely. Hell yeah! <laughs> We're just gonna shake hand with this sailboat. <laughs> It would be so hard for us to turn into the wind. I don't know, would it be hard for them to turn into the wind or turn away from the wind? But we're just going really, really close to each other. Mark is hiding from the big bad sun. <laughs> And watching his fishing rod, he says. He said, I'm gonna catch a fish. Really? <laughs> what kind of lobster pot is that? Made from a cane and a... two bottles. Oh, it's got a line going down this way. It's not good. Nadiana says she's hot while wearing a warm jacket <laughs> in the Mediterranean. We're very dark. Nadiana was just replying to YouTube comments. <laughs> uh, finally, the wind picked up a little bit, enough to kind of get a two and a half knot to three knot sail on. <laughs> We're not going to reach the destination that we wanted to, but we'll get somewhere along the coast. The old telltales flapping about. There's a big headland there, and we'll probably just anchor just in front of it, but we'll see. Maybe we'll sail until the sun goes down. Until the sun goes down. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> But we're just chilling on the deck with a cup of tea and it's nice. We've got autopilot steering us. <laughs> it's like some sort of storm over there. Really? Whoa, dang. But I hope it doesn't catch up with us. Well, I wonder if that's what the wind is. It's the wind getting sucked in. Oh, probably. Maybe. Forecasts have not been very accurate today, I'll give you that. Mark is explaining to me visually how to use a spinnaker. Very briefly. Whoops. Very briefly. It's a big triangle like that, isn't it? Yeah. And it's in a bag, but it's wrapped up perfectly. It's yeah. very important to wrap it perfectly. Yeah. Like a parachute that you just. Yeah, yeah, around. of course. Otherwise. So you attach the top of the sail to that halyard there. The red line. Red lines. Okay. You have a guy or a line here, or a line or sheet, basically a sheet yeah, or a guy. Yeah, the guy. Attached to the corners. Two okay. guys here. <laughs> Two guys. We, we get them. We get some cheap labour from. Uh, <laughs> get some cheap labour from, from the sea world. From the sea world. <laughs> and so you attach the line to each side. So okay. You got the kind of triangle. You pull up the sail. It comes up zoom, like that. It goes. Like that. Yeah. And then, but then also, you've got the spinnaker pole, right? Yeah. We just do it dead downwind at first. I don't know if you use the spinnaker pole if you're dead downwind. Yeah. Anyway, the spinnaker pole is for keeping the sail out, keeping it out. Uh, and that attaches to this little ring here. Oh, uh, okay. First time sailing in the mud uh, without any boat. Reminds me of the beautiful UK days. And seems like we're gonna have a really beautiful sunset. Oh, it is. We are stopping for us. We're being stopped again, I think. Why is it a SNS. So the lifeboat. Oh. Very strange. They just motored right up to us and stopped, and then turned. Said hi though, then. We said hello. They're really friendly. Same with the missile guys. Very friendly as well. 
We're also motoring now, the wind completely dropped for the last few miles. Long day at sea, not much progress. We've been flapping around for most of it. <laughs> She's glowing in the dusky sun. Ah, there is one dolphin. One lone dolphin. There it goes. Bye. Whoa, lots of dolphins. They're coming over! <laughs> hey. They're coming. Yeah. Wait. Whoa, <laughs> That's got a baby that one. Woohoo! Whoa, bloody heck. Do you see more? Yeah, there. <laughs> In our home tonight. Nice view at different time with the city lights and there's a huge sailboat with three masts on. Whoa, it looks nice in a nighttime background. Yeah. Uh oh. What? It's an autumn leaf. What does it mean? The nights are getting a little bit cooler. What does it mean? Anyway, Nadiana chose this anchorage. I was hesitant because it's completely open to the south and usually there's a swell that comes in. But Nadiana did good. Ow! <laughs> Yesterday was just a day full of loads of surprises. The missile guys that came over, the lifeboat, the wind, the dolphins, the moon. It was just a proper sea day, which, yeah, if you know anything about living on or around boats or sailing, nothing's ever straightforward. Yesterday, everything kind of came together, apart from the weak wind, which <laughs> meant that we were sailing at about two knots for about six hours. Anyway, that means that we're 10 miles away from our destination, which is Caen, Cannes, 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 Cannes. So it's 10 miles away, so it'll take us two hours to get there. Completely calm day, few boats out, none of them have got the sails up, so it's obviously not windy enough to sail, so we'll be motoring. Really nice. Also, see that big boy there? That's a trash boy. You put your rubbish in there because I think if you pay to use those boys over there it's 20 something euros a night and then I, I guess you get to use the trash boy for 20 euros we see a lot of big boats and a lot of the time they're actually British flagged such as this one and this one I don't know it's strange I don't know why maybe the British are just the best 
I don't know. Uh, we're just rich and big headed. Well, anyway. I would say British people are the least that I've met. I mean, of course, there are every type of person everywhere, but the people that I met, the British people I met, I don't think they're big headed at all. Nadiana's got um, road rage. <laughs> I said, oh, just look out for that boat there. If he crosses that, if he crosses me, I'll shout at him, I'll scold him in Chinese. <laughs> Talking about this guy over here. Now, he does not want to be scolded in Chinese, trust me. I have every mind to get on the radio to warn him. Look at the speed of this yacht. I've never seen a yacht go so fast on the motor. Whoa, I've never seen that before. That's crazy. Another massive English yacht. <laughs> the super yachts are all English. Yes, yes, I'm just so proud. That I'll With you. <laughs> You should make some English friends. <laughs> We're arriving into Cannes and trying to find our spot E53. Whoa, so many super, super yachts. Whoa, look at that catamaran, the black beast. <laughs> Damn. So we're doing proper mad mooring with lots expensive boats. So we're gonna I'm gonna go stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm so nervous. But we go so slow. Engage forward, neutral. We need to find 53. Is it here? Next to the yacht. Alright, I think we'll. Okay. I think we just line up next to this powerboat. <laughs> now Diana's got the front. <laughs> I think. I feel like. I feel like that's our line there. We've got the slime line at the back, which goes in. We're perfectly in here, slightly touching this boat. But we are the only boat who's bowing. And we're bowing because the access to the back of the boat is very bad. Whereas front access is better, I guess. Not better until we <laughs> We need to clear all this sheet. And we've got a line, one line going as a, like a triangle. How's the access? You have to be very agility. <laughs> Good job. Is it better than the uh, back way? Do you think? <laughs> mm, just the same. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Well, every day is a school day. You try and you learn. You try and you learn. Looks like mullets on the menu tonight. Looks like a nice little city. We don't know anything about Cannes, apart from it's got a film festival. We assumed it would be quite posh. All right. Stay safe. Stay safe. I have my hands full. We are going to pay now. It's gonna be our anniversary, so we extend it two day more. Gonna this is pamper kind of like ourselves. Our holiday, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. I mean, our holiday in a holiday. <laughs> We're so lucky. So, it is very reasonable price here. Mm. It is 
19 euros for one night so for, for the south coast of france that's really good yeah super good and you have a gift yeah you get you get a bag <laughs> oh my gosh how do they even make a profit it's our anniversary uh in a week so we actually just then decided to stay an extra two days so we're here for our anniversary so we'll be completely comfortable and everything so yeah it's like our little holiday it's our holiday inside a holiday it's our <laughs> inception holiday <laughs> Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as some of you will know, we're actually just going to upload on Fridays now, but put a little bit more time and effort into the videos just to make them a little bit better, because sometimes they're just a little bit rough and if we're in an anchorage and we're uh, or, or going out off on an anchorage, it's going to be, it's just quite difficult and uh, to, to upload quality videos. So uh, thanks for uh, staying with us, so Friday's the day. Uh, maybe we'll do some bonus content like looking for boats and stuff on Tuesdays. Uh, in terms of the boat uh, and a boat update, like you said in the video, we're in no rush to sell. It's just looking for the perfect boat re really. And then uh, we would probably make a switch for the perfect boat. But right now we're kind of, um, yeah, we're just, we're just taking it easy. We're enjoying good tidings and uh, just thinking towards the future a little bit. Anyway. Uh, don't go anywhere because there's a special message after this. If you're watching the video to this far, please, please go down and click like. It helps. Subscribe if you're not already. And uh, enjoy this little piece. <laughs> after the success of our first single, The Octopus Song, we've uh, decided to follow the road of uh, songs about sea creatures. And this is about a mantis shrimp. It's called Pee Pee Xia in Chinese. This song is dedicated to our coffee and PayPal supporters. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much and enjoy the song. I throw my hands in the air People think that I do not care But it's not a case of not caring I'm just trying to catch my food The fish flow by a million times But not all the time It's so easy to catch I just flip That's the line of attack. Catch the fish, catch the fish, catch the fish, catch the fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy man, do not come too close. When I come to meet you, you might explode You might fly into a million pieces Blood everywhere and all of your feces Don't get scared when I come over to you I'm not trying to high five It could cause a tidal wave and all your family would drown I'm just blessed with the most powerful punch They call me Pee Pee Xia in Chinese I've never been so disgusted with my name All the other crabs say Pee Pee Xia, Pee Pee Xia Ni Fan Pee Ma, Pee Pee Xia Oh, Fan Pee Ren Lilo, Chosa we are like jelly, yeah. Taicho. Chosuola. A sinna. Pee-pee-sha, 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 
皮皮虾。Don't call me 皮皮虾 ，Don't call me 虾皮皮。I'm a mantis shrimp. I'm from the Pacific, you know. I don't even know what I'm doing in Chinese waters. Why are all these Chinese crabs talking to me? <laughs> Peepee, shy everybody. <laughs> Not available on, on iTunes or Spotify. <laughs>